in neuropsychology and in brain chemistry, it depends on where their brains are. You know, our brains don't form until 25 or 26. So really the plasticity of the brain, it's setting, it's like jello until they're 25 or 26 and then it sets. But as far as the neurochemistry or the brain or what they're using, um, certainly we could posit that we could propose that if you're still, if they're gaming, Yes, it's absolutely lighting up the wrong centers and darkening the, the other ones. Any fMRI can show that. But if they're in an age where they're much younger, yes, of course, the neural pathways, because your brain is always pruning. You're teaching your brain what parts of the brain to use. And if you're focusing, now there's a lot of games actually, just to be fair, that can help buttress this online learning. And Common Sense Media is a great website. And I love these guys. Um, your work, you know these, you know the resources. So there's a lot of games that have to do with problem solving and math and learning. And I've been talking about that a lot and sharing those resources. But certainly like the dystopic universes, the first shooter games, the war games, all of those. Yeah, those should be super limited. Like I say to parents, how much sugar do you like your kids having? Do you look at your kid's sugar intake? I saw a woman at the grocery store and I rarely go because I'm trying to be careful, but she was teaching her daughter to look at peanut butter and the ingredients. The daughter was probably six or seven and the mom was taking the opportunity. And I just saw her, she was showing her daughter in peanut butter, which one to buy that how much sugar is in some of the brands and that it was important if you really going to have those nutrients. And then I watched and I wasn't trying to be like stalker, but I was watching because I was really thought this was great. She was taking this opportunity to teach her daughter shopping of how to read ingredients and what ingredients mean. And that obviously the first one is the most in it and they go in descending order. So if you buy peanut butter and you look at the ingredients and the last ingredient is peanuts. <laughs> yeah, but I, she was taking that opportunity to teach her daughter about shopping. But I say to parents, look, perfect ground rule. Say that video games were sugar. Uh, say devices were sugar. How much sugar do you want your kid to have a day? Now they can have some and they can earn some dessert, but I look at it like as if it was sugar because it's the dietary, for it's a diet for your brain. So in terms of how much and all of that, it's up to every parent. But I also understand parents are fatigued too. And I've said to parents, they've said, Don, I couldn't, I'm so sorry, true confession. I just gave my kid the PlayStation. I was like, I said, I get it. We're all struggling. The str Hashtag the struggle is real for all of us. <laughs>